My God. No. I'm whacking in solid poison ivy. Oh, look at that, honey. You ladies are doing a fantastic job and I can't thank you enough. Hey guys, we're going to check the bees again. I know it's been a while. Wanted to check a couple days ago, but it decided to rain. And now the sun is peeking out a little bit and it's windy. So hopefully you can hear me. We're gonna see what kind of honey is happening. I've added another super since you've last seen. Stay tuned. Okay, I brought some smoke with. I don't know if I'm gonna use it or not, but they might be crabby because it's been raining. There's the second super I put on. There's what the front looks like. Let's get in there and see what's happening. I have this hat on, by the way, because my hair is getting longer. And I don't want bees getting stuck in my hair. It's a really good way to get stung. So I've got this on. I apologize for any wind. I'm gonna try not to use smoke because when you do that, the bees think that there's a fire and they start eating some of the honey. So if I don't have to use it, I try not to. Oh look at we've got a friend in there. Hey, green tree frog hanging out. It's maybe not a good place to be though, I don't know. He must like it for some reason. Alright, froggy. There he is. You want to go in the bushes? So this super on the top, I just put on. And you can see, there's quite a bit of bees moving on up. And let's find out what exactly they're doing in there. And this is something we gotta fix. I'll show you. you see here how they're tat making like comb from this frame to the box? We gotta get that out of there and fix that. Look at the bee glue. That is thick. It's called propolis. You can see where the bees are. They're putting nectar in. So that's good considering that's the edge frame. Now I'm going to scrape this. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. It's called burr comb. Hi bee. Hey the tripod has legs. How about that? I'll raise it up a little bit. I don't think it's necessary to look at all of these, but I am curious to see what they're up to. Oh, well, that's getting actually quite heavy quite fast. I'm kind of surprised. And this, I have not applied any smoke to the hive. Yeah, they're putting nectar in there pretty dang good. I just put a little smoke on my hands and that's all it really seems to need. And here's Devon's frame tell you a little bit about that. This is a brand new frame. And look, 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 look. We took like this side, you can kind of see, this is what it used to look like down here. Just plastic. But as you can see here, hopefully you can see there, they're starting to build it out with comb. First they have to build the comb before they can put the, the honey or the nectar in there. And that is Devon's. He painted a little bit of beeswax on that plastic foundation to kind of get him started. And he wrote his name on the side there. That's Devon's frame and they are working it. Yep. I'm really curious to see what's in that bottom box. I want to peek at these real quick first. This one's the heaviest yet. Oh yeah, look at those bees working. Take this box off. This is kind of the part that I was wondering if I would need smoke or not. Like I say, I 
try not to use it if I don't have to. And here's some burr comb. We gotta get rid of that. But I saved this and I, I melt it. I'll show you that in another video. Oh, if you could smell that. All right, this is the moment of truth. Not so much this very first frame that I'm gonna pull out, but these ones in the middle look like they are pretty good. There, that's getting loaded with honey in there. You see how wet it is here. Pinch that off so they don't start gluing frames together and you get a big mess. Ooh, that feels heavy. Holy moly. They're just starting to cap right there. But it looks like they're trying to really make it thick. Frames, that is. Wow. See, like right here, you see, uh, I don't know if you can see that lighter color there. They're capping off. There's honey in there. And they're sealing it. Look at them in there. There, they're capping honey right in there. I don't know if you can see right in there. See all that honey they're capping off? Oh, yeah, these frames are getting heavy. There again. See all the honey they're capping? That one feels the... Whoa, that's why. That one's the heaviest yet, because look at all the capped honey. Wow. Oh. Likewise, look at that honey. You ladies are doing a fantastic job, and I can't thank you enough. Wow. And I wish you could see down in the, that main brood box, the top brood box there, is just... There's a lot of bees in there. They say uh, a mature hive has about 50,000 of them. I don't know, what do you think? 50,000? open for ventilation and easy bee access. Is it stuck on there? No. Where'd it go? a new stick. Look who came back. He wasn't there a second ago, was he? What are you doing, dude? <laughs> See, here's the gap I want to create. That gap. They can come and go there. And then they let some of the hot air out. Oh, look at that. Spreading pheromones. 
you know, he's sticking his backside in the air, fanning. He's telling the bees, all the other bees, something. Oh my gosh, that one, that one frame was almost done. And we didn't even have to smoke them in this overcast, rainy, awful weather because I swear I have the nicest bees in the whole wide world. So that's what's been going on with the bees. I'm super excited. It's almost honey time. Oh my god. No! I'm whacking in solid poison ivy. Oh, for crying. Just trying to show you something. It's all for you guys. See all that yellow? That is mainly a plant called goldenrod. And that's one of the few nectar and pollen sources that the bees have in the fall, and late summer, to build up their honey supply. Their honey supply is already good. Now they're building up my honey supply. I personally like uh, clover basswood, but first year I'm not going to be picky about it. They spent all springtime building up their their hive colony, so they were working on making more bees than they were getting me clover honey, so I'm fine with that. I'm excited. It's going to be the best honey I've ever tasted in my life, and I'm really excited. And thank you guys for tuning in. The next video will probably be when it's time to pull the frames out and extract the honey. Unless I'll probably do one. Uh, blah blah. I'm just rambling. I'll probably do a video of showing some of the equipment first, I guess. But yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Hope that wasn't just a bunch of rambling, silly nonsense. And uh, thanks for tuning in again. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.